if you want to reinvent yourself and become a better version of you this is for you hello welcome to my channel my name is Inchua if you have seen my face for the very first time and if you're returning welcome back sometime last year which is 2023 I unintentionally started out on this journey of reinventing myself I didn't set out to do it to be honest I had just gotten to this point where I wasn't content or I wasn't happy with where I was with the person I was and I was ready to make some changes it's been some months now almost a year at this point and I can tell you that I am an entirely different person I don't claim to have it all figured out let's start there but in hindsight there are some things that I believe I did that put me on the right path if I may say so myself into reinventing myself into glowing up and becoming a better version of myself in this video I'm going to be sharing some things that I did last year and things that I'm also going to be doing this year to reinvent myself so if you're also on this journey of reinventing yourself glowing up or becoming a better version of yourself I hope this video helps the first step on my list when it comes to reinventing yourself or becoming a better version of yourself is that you do not need anybody's permission to do that you don't need anybody's permission to decide that listen i have come this far in my life and i feel like i could be more you don't need your parents permission you don't need your friends permission your partner's permission your bosses your colleagues you don't need anybody's permission it's a decision that you get to by yourself based on My friend is getting married. Ah! Sorry. I just got a text and my friend is inviting me to her wedding. That is oh! sorry. Okay, um, yeah, you sorry. Yes, like I was saying, you don't need anybody's permission to undergo this process of becoming this version of yourself that you know is in there. Once you've made this decision, the next step is to decide what your priorities are. Also, if you can hear the AC, I'm sorry, it is very hot. <laughs> it's a hot day. And to be fair, I also don't know where I put my AC remotes. Don't judge me. Okay, I'm still a work in progress. I kind of move things around to film this video. So I don't know where my remote is. So there's nothing I can do about the sound. I really hope the sound is not bad. But if you can hear the in the background you see thread this early it is very important to decide what your priorities are so that you're not swayed by opinions or trends or whatever someone may have had a baby and they feel like the glow up they need is um you know getting their body back you know that's that's something that is that could be somebody else's priority somebody could also be concerned about building better relationships getting their finances in order um what else is there excelling in their career starting businesses and all of that so what areas of your life are you thinking of concentrating on you can do everything but to be honest you can't give every single thing your full attention and time and effort so i'd advise you pick three things and actively work towards them and you see um the changes and of course pick things that would actually move the needle in your life things that would make significant impact or change in your life because if it's just shallow things that you're doing because other people can see it then you still know that deep down there's something wrong somewhere and that will not save you number three slow down or take a step back and i may be biased when it comes to this point because that is exactly what i did but i feel like some things need your full effort your full attention like you need to laser focus on that particular priority to see significant changes so yeah sometimes that may require you to slow down if you're doing a lot of things if you're juggling a number of things and you have the chance to slow down slow down or take a step back and for me let me tell you what i did for me i decided what was a priority for me last year and social media was not on top of the list because yes i'm a content creator you can call me that i'm a creative i create content online 
but when i sat down with myself in complete honesty content creation was not necessarily going to move the needle for me in the grand scheme of things things that i felt were important to me so i took a step back i didn't touch a camera create content for a long time so that i could have time to focus on the things that i felt were important to me and they helped it may hurt because i may have for example lost out on opportunities um with working with brands you know stuff like that brands or even um losing out on major opportunities you never know what i may have missed out on but if you continue living in a state of fomo you may never fully achieve what you're capable of achieving and there's a high chance that once the things that are the most important to you begin to work out you realize that you didn't miss out on much the next thing is heal when i was getting ready to film this video i was scrolling through tiktok and i found a video that fully okay maybe to a certain degree explained what i'm what i mean by this one because when i was writing down my point when i wrote heal i did not have anything to add to it because i felt like whoever needed to hear it would know exactly what i'm talking about when they do hear it but if you need a little bit of help on what i mean this video kind of does a good job explaining it I'm going to take the next four minutes and show you the exact process of what it looks like when somebody changes their life. Okay? This is you. Childhood trauma. Judgment of others. Old ideas. Old thoughts. Perspectives you were raised with. Self-doubt. Maybe some addiction. Maybe an eating disorder. Things you don't really want to talk about but happened to you that you've tried to hide. Old beliefs and all the people that think you can't do it, okay? These things are all buried inside you. But you know what, you've got this much room and you're like, I wanna make more money. I wanna be a better dad, I wanna be a better mom, I wanna change my life, I'm ready to start a business. So you go out and you get yourself some education, some good ideas, some good, clean thinking. You wanna manifest, you wanna to connect to your higher power and you start to pour that in. And the first thing you notice is, oh my God, I'm putting all this good stuff in. Why is all this other stuff coming up to the top? Why am I feeling so crazy and so awful? Because you're building a solid foundation. You are uprooting all your old traumas, your old thoughts, your old ideas, and you are putting something else at the bottom for you to build on. 50% of people opt out right here because bringing any of these ideas any closer to the surface is so uncomfortable and the pain of healing is so great that at this point in their life, they go back to their nine to five, they give up the side hustle, they go back to the toxic ex and they go back into old behavior and they start subscribing to the idea that it's all a scam, okay? We're here. You're not gonna quit yet. You're gonna keep going. So you reach back out again. Maybe you get a mentor. Maybe you get a life coach. Now you're in therapy. Now shit's getting real. You've got all this stuff bubbling up to the surface and you feel like you are never going to make it. But all of your stuff is coming to the top. This much of you is now replaced with who you're meant to be. The person that is actually wanting to come out, wanting to thrive and wanting to shine. Another 30% of people are gonna quit right here. You're gonna keep going, you're gonna keep believing, you're gonna keep knowing that everything that is meant for you is gonna be meant for you. And eventually, you're gonna end up here. Another 5% of people are gonna quit here. They will do all this work, they will put in all this effort, they will get all these blessings and receive all these miracles and still decide to quit right here because of the pain they've gone through. So my challenge to you, my friends, is to understand that if you've gone through all the pain, you've gone through all the hardship, all your stuff from childhood's coming up, you're adopting new belief systems, you're adopting new ideas, don't quit when you're almost there. Keep reaching for the good stuff. Keep pouring the good stuff in and eventually you're gonna end up being who you're meant to be. Okay, moving on. Forget the big goals. For example, I want to buy a car by the end of the year. That's a big goal. And there are things that I would have to do to be able to get it, no matter what, no matter what you're doing, yes, whatever you're thinking, yes, no matter what 
you're going to do to get that car it's still going to take some steps right so i want to have this amount of money in the bank i want to lose this amount of weight i want to have a better relationship i want to get married yes have those goals by all means have those goals because they push you to want to do something for yourself but for a split second forget about the big goals and focus on the habits or practices that will get you to that goal for me something something that was a bit of a problem for me last year was my weight but more importantly my health and it was a big hurdle in my life like oh, i've been struggling with this thing for like a year plus because i was always concentrating on this big goal that seems unattainable but once i put that mentality aside and i decided or i'd come to terms with the fact that there are tiny habits and practices that i would do every day every single week that would get me closer to this goal i did lose weight but more importantly i become healthier more confident and i'm more happy with myself all because i decided to focus on the habits and the daily practices that were going to get me to that goal let's say you want a certain amount of money in your bank account miracles aside because i believe in miracles i believe that it is possible to just wake up one day and see the money in your account it depends on your faith level i agree but also if i wake up and i see money in my bank account i will be scared especially if i don't know where the money is from because am i about to be investigated <laughs> am i about to be arrested or not so let's say there's no miracle happening right and you want a certain amount of money in your bank account you you would have to actively save that money and if you're inconsistent with it it's not going to be there you cannot save thousands of cds dollars one month not save for five months start saving again 10 months later and expect that you're going to see that amount in your bank account it's not going to be there so when it comes to whatever you're going to be prioritizing in your glow up era or on this reinvention journey you would have to be consistent with it you would have to make it something that you show up for every day every week maybe or every month based on the frequency you've decided to you know choose you as cliche as it may sound consistency is what you need consistency will take you far take it from me who has tried multiple things multiple times and when i decided to stick to something and do it consistently i shall change consistency is the truth they've been preaching it for years and they're not lying they're not lying yet with the program <laughs> but something that also helped me last year all these things are things that helped me and things that i'm also going to be implementing this year like i said so one thing that also helped me last year if you're not new to the channel you know that i love to journal and i don't like digital journals there's nothing wrong with that i probably haven't found some some or one that feels natural to me but i love to journal i want to physically hold a book like this like this is one of my journals for the year i want to physically hold the book write out my thoughts and my feelings and everything in the book the purpose of doing stuff like journaling is to keep track of your progress and if you're going to be reinventing yourself you would want to keep track of what is going on what is working what is not working so that you can go back reiterate and try again and it also help you appreciate your journey where you started and where you currently are it is very easy for us to get to a point where we feel like i'm doing every single thing right i'm putting in the work i'm being consistent i'm showing up for myself yidi yada but i'm not seeing the progress simply because we've not taken time out to record the tiny win the tiny things that we no longer struggle with. there is nothing that will make you quit faster than not seeing any results or not having a reason to keep going i'm going to attempt to vlog maybe every week or every other week to kind of share my journey because this like i said this is i'm in my glow up era she's ready to become who she is meant to become by the grace of god <laughs> i'm ready to glow up and i'm going to document it share my my wins share the things i'm doing because next year by this time i promise you you would not recognize me and if you're thinking just externally you're being shallow 
and i'm disappointed don't be shallow <laughs> but yeah i'm going to document that so if you want to see how all the things i've shared are going to translate in my day-to-day -day life subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and the series will start next week sunday at 5 p.m oh 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 would you prefer i hold the mic like this when i'm making a video like this or would you prefer we hide the mic and act like it's not there let me know in the comments. Mwah.